welcome to this video uh, in this video we will uh, see that how you can use a if else condition for multiple if conditions are there let me uh, let me say that there are three or four if else conditions are there so how to use in that case so basically you can see here i have a uh, means i have written here some gradation system in this uh, program what we are going to do here is so we are just going to create a program which can tell a grade based on the marks of a student means it will tell whether the student has got A grade or B grade or whatever grade. So, uh, for example, I have categorized the grades here. So, I have taken 90 to 100 as A grade and uh, 80 to 90, 89 as B grade, 70 to 79 as C grade, 60 to 69 as D grade. Then you can further take E also. But let us consider this uh, 5 grades I have taken. I want to write a program so that if I enter the mark, it will tell me what is the grade of the student. So, how to write, let us start here, I will uh, open a new script here first. So, in the new script, as I always say, write CLC, close all and then clear all. Then I will uh, take a um, section here and uh, in the section, what I will do is, I will take that, uh, what is the input, what is the input mark. So, I will write here. So, I will write, uh, uh, give the marks secured by the student, okay. Now, here I need to take the mark as an input. So, what I have to do, I will write mark is equals to input, okay. I have to take it from the user. So, in input, I will write one message that enter the mark of the student just write this then give a colon give a space and end it so i am just giving a colon and space so that in the command window it will look good so there is no uh, specific reason for giving a colon and a space it's just a uh, means i can say it's a aesthetic value okay next uh, one more section uh, section will make it here so what you will do define the grades based on the marks and display Okay, so here what we are going to do, we are going to define the grade based on the mark. What is the grade? Later than later on we will display it. So here we'll write if marks. So whatever sorry, if mark whatever mark is given is greater than equals to ninety. So see what condition I am writing here. I am writing the condition that I have taken here. Okay, so if the mark is between ninety to hundred, so if it is greater than equals to ninety or is it less than equals to 10 or means and I will write double and here. Remember if else condition always take two ands or um, two equals there will be two symbols always fine. So, if mark is greater than equals to 90 or means sorry and mark is less than equals to 100. So, if the mark is in this range then I will take a variable which I will name this as grade. So, what is the grade? Grade is equals to A. So, why I am writing A in a uh, uh, means invert in the um, this code? So, that is because A is a uh, string, okay, it is a character, it is not a integer. So, I cannot directly write A. So, every string or character has to be written, it has to be taken as a uh, inside the quotes okay if it has to be a integer value or any float value then we can directly write the value we can initialize the value uh, that the grade is equals to 0 then you can write but here we are taking as a string or a character that's why we are we have to write as a quote here next give a semicolon so what is the next uh, statement next statement is else if okay so if this condition is not satisfied else if mark Okay, so uh, here also I have to write mark. We are checking in the both the conditions. Okay, so here if mark is again greater than equals to what? Greater than equals to 80. So the next uh, stage is what? Next stage is it is between 80 to 89. So if the mark is greater than 80 and and I will write two ands here again and mark is less than equals to 89. Okay less than equals to 89 in that case what will happen so the grade is equals to b 
okay now we have taken so you can double quote single quote both will give you same answer that's not a problem so now grade is equals to b so what we have done if the mark is between 90 to 100 the value of grade will be equals to a now if the mark is between 80 to 89 then the value of grade will be equals to b so again i'll write else if so see here if multiple if conditions are there then i am using the else if here okay if this else if this else if this like this you can take if i write mark is greater than equals to greater than equals to what again here i'll take 72 and and so greater than equal to 70 and mark is less than equals to 79 so if it is in this range then i'll write simply grade equals to c here right so grade equals to c and give a semicolon right again you write else if okay mark range is what mark range is now 62 sorry mark is greater than equals to 60 and and mark is less than equals to 69 if it is in this range then grade equals to d okay sorry what are friend so grade equals to d next another condition is there so the last condition is actually the only condition is there so i don't need to check whether it is below 60 or not if it is not in this all these four scenarios i have shown here then obviously the next grade is fail so i don't have to write a specific condition for that so for that what i can i can simply write else okay just hit enter then write grade is equals to f that's it okay so if the first four condition is not satisfying then i'll consider it is f or fail grade okay so after the now the if conditions have been uh, completed all the if statement i have written so after that i have to write end to understand that the if condition is ended here so one thing you notice here if i write e n d end here so it automatically goes here and this if also is highlighted while writing the end that means it considers that this end is meant for this if starting this if this starting if multiple if statements will be there so for every if statement you need to put a end here okay fine now we have decided the grades so next i will make a section display the grade so how to display so here i will instead of writing display you can write disp also but i will write f printf why i use a printf that's because i can write the value and the message in one uh, print statement only so here I'll start the bracket i'll write the grade obtained by the student is you will call on this one then you write ampersand d okay so that will take the variable into there and uh, 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 complete this quote here give a comma and then write grade that is the variable i need to display and give a semicolon that's it okay now let us run the code and uh, see what is happening here first i have to save it i'll write grading system i can write the code name okay let me run the code so it is asking here enter the mark of the student so let me take uh, here 95 so it displays that the grade obtained by the student is 65 uh, why it is taking 65 okay so it is uh, taking 65 that's because i am taking a character but the value of the, uh, the character is not being displayed as a string here fine so that's why it is uh, uh, taking it as a 65 as a value so for that i need to convert that uh, grade value to a string while printing this so that can be done in this way so what i'll do here is instead of writing the grade obtained by the student is uh, here i in, instead of actually ampersand d always prints a uh, integer value so here i'll write ampersand s here okay and then i'll write this forward slash n So let me take uh, 89 here uh, 
okay the system is getting hang so let's just uh, wait for some time the system is getting hang i don't know why so here the error was i was writing ampersand d actually ampersand d always prints the uh, integer value it cannot print the uh, uh, character for you so instead of writing ampersand uh, d i have to write ampersand s and i have write slash n so this will actually create uh, it will print the int, uh, integer uh, string value or the character value here and you can see here i have given double quote here so why this is required because i want to display student apostrophe s so students grade is so that's why if i give only one then there will be a error you can see this goes to black so that means this part will computer will not understand wh what this message is so double quote means the second quote it will take it as a part of the uh, string okay that's how you can so now let us run this code let me take uh, the input mark is 78 and it will tell me that the students grade is equals to c here fine so now let us remove this last n then we will see what is happening to the code if i run the code now if the mark is let's say 45 then it is showing the students grade is f and again uh, the um, command line is in the same line so if i use the slash n what is happening here so the command line is actually going to the next line if any next further command is there it has to be taken it will start from the next line so that is the only difference made by the common line so nothing else is there so if i enter here 98 this time then it will display the students grade is a and the common line will start to, from the next time so that's how it will do so there is not very significant use but uh, yes if you have to give a next code let's say after the grade is given you want to add some code there enter the name of the student or something like that then it should start from a new line otherwise it will start from that line itself so that's why uh, it is being given so that's a simply if else condition multiple if else condition you can take to uh, calculate grade of a student and if any other thing is there like the number of else if condition you can take is actually infinite it's not related that i have taken four here you can take 10 also so like this you can use multiple if statement and multiple conditions and in next video we will see some other concept based on this looping concept so thank you